Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for visiting me here at Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is toxic relationship addiction. Now I know the title pretty much speaks for itself, but a lot of people don't understand and don't see that their relationships can be filled with drama and toxic behavior. And the reason they don't see this is because that is what they're used to. That is familiar to them. That might have been something they grew up with, or it might just be something they like because they feel that it's interesting, it's exciting. When you have somebody that's a bit of a bad boy or a bad girl, it adds a little bit of zap to the relationship, or so we think. What ends up happening is it becomes a huge problem because every time you turn around, you've got another issue to deal with within this type of relationship. There's always something going on where you're, you're sort of pushed to the side and they're doing what they want to do. You're sort of an afterthought sometimes. And this can cause a lot of insecurities and a lot of problems. But because of that bad girl, bad boy sort of vibe you get, a lot of the times the sex is really good. And that becomes another addiction. Because when you make up or when you, if you take a break from each other and get back together again, it is exciting. And this is what keeps people coming back. The trouble is it's not healthy to be in a relationship where somebody is abusing you or filling, you know, every, every day with drama. And it, it doesn't even have to be like what you think about abuse being really powerful and, and hurtful. Sometimes it's just words. It's verbal. It's, it's how they talk to you, how they treat you. They belittle you or they put you way down the list on the priorities. So you always feel like you're not, you know, special, but you keep going back because they're hot, they're sexy, they, they might have this really powerful chemical attraction and sexual attraction that lures you to them. What you really wanna do here is have a little bit of everything in your relationship. Of course you wanna have sexual chemistry. Of course you wanna be attracted to them. But you don't have to be attracted to somebody that causes so many problems every day and doesn't treat you right. It's not okay to always be with somebody just because they are sexually alluring to you. And that's usually the reason people do stick around in some of these, these, these type of relationships. Because everybody wants to just keep that sort of, those fires burning and that excitement alive. And, uh, and sometimes you get so addicted to it that being in a normal relationship just doesn't feel right. It feels better to be in something that where there's constant stuff going on. The problem with that though, there is constant stuff going on and it's not good stuff. It's all over the map and it causes you to have insecurities. It causes you to, to doubt yourself. It causes you to just not understand what a real relationship is. And if you keep going back for the same thing over and over again, you aren't going to understand what a great relationship can be, what it can consist of. So if you're finding that you are in relationship after relationship with somebody who is a lot of drama, you need to rethink what you're doing here. Do you want to be exclusive with somebody who's always playing with your emotions? You're always up on the teeter-totter, down on the teeter-totter, up, down. It's not a relationship. That's a phase. So treat it as a phase. If you have done it once or twice, look back and say, how did that work for me? It didn't really, but it was exciting. You can still have excitement with somebody that you're in love with and somebody who treats you well. You just have to let go of the, the sort of that addiction that you've had for so long and allow somebody to come in that's fun, but loves you unconditionally and doesn't treat you, you know, up and down all the time. It's not something that's a good to get addicted to because by the time you turn 50, you're gonna sit there and say, oh my God, I spent so many years with the wrong people and I gave up so much of being in a, in a normal sort of family environment that I really wanted to be in. So think about what relationship you're in right now. If you've come to this video, chances are you're probably in a relationship that's a little bit 
all over the map and a little rocky and you're sitting here saying well how, how can I get past this how can I fall in love with somebody when I'm not like crazy addicted to them you can you just have to change up what what hasn't been working for you take a break from dating take a good break from it and go back out there when you're meeting people that are you know putting you first and being kind to you and being romantic and it's not just sort of a push-pull emotional game all the time because you know you deserve better than that this kind of stuff can be fun when you're young and you're just trying to figure yourself out but if you're taking this in as you get older and older and every single relationship is the same and turns out the same and you're never the priority in that relationship it's time to start asking yourself what you're getting out of this how is it working for you because if you end up at the end of you know a year every time with the same type of relationship you need to change that pattern and you need to change it pretty quick because you deserve to be with somebody who loves you unconditionally and loves you for you not where they're the ones that are controlling the whole situation and you just follow along with whatever they want for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave your questions below the video here and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And please check out my blogs, videos, and advice column at cybersuit.com. Thanks everyone so much for tuning in.